We see it day by day. We go to courts and sit in different trials. The criminals has the rights. Well, I was just in a trial uh, a couple of weeks ago. And the lady that had been murdered, her family was there and they sat at the witness stand and was trying to speak. And only another mother knows the pain she's feeling, what she's going through. And then you see her defense attorney go in there mocking and sitting there, pretending to be a victim. Made a mockery out of a lot of victims. I couldn't help myself. I did confront him and I told him, you did not just slip this family, but every victim that has lost a child to murder, sitting there mocking us. It's a slap in the face to all victims. And he crossed the line. At the moment I didn't, I wanted to go slap him because I was so angry. But we have to respect the courts. As victims, we don't have rights. We cannot show emotion. One of this girl that was murdered, her best friend that worked with her for several years, her husband put his arm around her just to comfort her on what was being said. And the bailiff came and told her to get his arm around off of her. He couldn't even put his arm around her. And that is how victims are treated. Yet the murderer sits there, his attorney rubbing his back. And that's okay. The defense attorney throws a fit and she starts crying. And it was okay. But let one of the victims just cry a little bit. They ask him to leave the court. But they call it justice. It's criminal justice. It's for the criminals. Because being a victim, you don't have very many rights. And it's very upsetting to a lot of us that go through this. Not just on our own trials, but seeing other families be victimized by the criminal justice. And uh, we've come a long way. They're letting uh, some moms sit in the courts, but not, I don't understand, I never will, how they run their, their criminal justice. Uh, it's very painful because once you go through this, you have to go and relieve everything. Some families are waiting They are overturning a lot of the convictions. Not on innocence, but on technicality. They didn't word it right. So here we go again. Leave that pain all over again. Because I feel they're trying to get all the criminals out. And lock the good people. People that are working, have jobs are the ones that are thrown in jail for long periods of time. And you can commit a crime, murder a person, be charged with capital murder and get probation. But they call it justice. We as victims call it, it's criminal justice. It's made for the criminals. Where is the justice for the victims? I don't think that they have any. 
and they can study all they want to, they can do whatever, but the pain of a mom, only another mother would know what we go through.